So we're going to take a look right here and we're going to uh, get right in. Yo, I wasn't going to do this video initially. I saw um, on Instagram that the Yu-Gi-Oh World Championship 2004 uh, World's video dropped. Um, I was trying to watch it on there and it just and, and I saw a couple things and I was like, I got to watch this. Um, I got to watch this in real life. I got to watch this uh, on my channel. Um, I went on YouTube and I saw that this is criminally under view. This video is one minute long and it's got 600 views and it's from Konami Asia. This has been out for two days. It's disgusting that this is not getting any views, no talk, no clout, no nothing. And I got to talk about this, man, because this video, I think was amazing. Hit me directly, attack my feels directly. All right. So maybe it's going to attack yours, but I needed to bring this out because this is one of those things that, man, I think it's pretty special, bro. I think it's pretty fucking special but i'm going to be giving you the frame by frame in this one minute video i don't know how long this video is going to be but this video is one minute if you really want to see this video check it out in the link in the description leave a comment on it because they leave their comments on leave a nice comment leave a positive comment tell them that your boy yt dan sent you and leave me a comment leave me a like tell me your experience about watching this and reacting to this because this hit me in the feels directly i am yuki boomer but for some of you, you are not Yugi Boomer. You are, you know, Yugi Doomer. <laughs> Yugi, Yugi uh, recently joined. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's gonna. It's a little something here for, I think, everybody. But again, I have a large perspective because I started from the beginning. And this is a competitive. This is so unique. This is a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! montage video. Artist, like, 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 like done very it's, okay let me stop talking about it and let's just get all right let's get in there and check it out Yu-Gi-Oh world championship 2004 all right first thing i want to point out before we go anywhere <laughs> they start off in 2003 with your boy downs of luke now i gotta i gotta point this out this this hit me directly in the fields y'all know a lot of y'all might know of this already 2003 I was in high school and I was rocking the Donza Luke deck. This was my favorite deck. Mystic Tomato Swap, Creature Swap, you know, Change of Heart, Tech You Donza Luke. Like, this was my favorite deck of all time. And it was the first deck that I, that I played, like an organized deck where I put my brain to work and built something competitive and 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 that was before i joined the actual quote-unquote competitive community like by going to my locals and things like that because i didn't know things like that really existed at, at in 2003 for me it didn't exist you know in downtown D and not down yeah i guess it was technically downtown detroit you know when i was going to high school you know downtown detroit there were there was no there's no locals <laughs> in Detroit. <laughs> no locals in Detroit. <laughs> but we definitely had um, daily duels at the university and in school, in high school. Such an amazing memory. And what I think is beautiful about this presentation, you know, a lot of people might, I don't know what you might think about this, but I, I think you might agree with this. It's amazing to see that how they depict this. Like, okay, so if, as you already know, Yu-Gi-Oh is heavily steeped within Egyptian like connotations. A lot of the Egyptian uh, religious and uh, uh, ethos, and, you know, you know, a lot of that stuff goes out into the stars. It's very celestial. What's amazing about culture and everything else, we all have these celestial constellations that we point to. What I think is amazing and beautiful in a Yu-Gi-Oh perspective is that these legendary decks, these legendary cars, these legendary powerful things that you are connected to, that I'm connected to, is demonstrated in a constellation. You know, they're, they're put into the sky for posterity for all to see forever. And I think that that's amazing. You already know who's on the right. You can see him. It's Black Luster Soldier. But I'm just saying like, this this hit me right in the feels because I live this life and I, and I dueled these duels. You may have dueled these duels as well, but 
I don't know. It's it's a different kind of it's a special kind of feeling and it's hard to explain that I'm telling you right now, but it's it's amazing. So you got Don, then you get Black Luster Soldier, and then Don ex you know, he he blows up like a Yu-Gi-Oh card because his time has passed. It's time to move on. Now we're in the 2004. We're in the Black Luster Soldier era. Who remembers that era? I wrote about that era very briefly in this book about Black Luster Soldier. I went through a I went through a timeline explaining how Yu-Gi-Oh evolved, and they kind of hit it point for point. <laughs> Like, like, as I described in the book, they describe in this thing, you know, but, you know, I, they, they skipped the beat down era with like summon skulls and equips, though. But, you know, who, who cares about that? Who cares? <laughs> 2005 Metamorphosis 2006 Chaos. Oh, my God. I graduated high school 2005 with a deck box. You know, in my in my backpack, you know, I I was ready to duel after graduation. <laughs> I was so ready for. I actually went to Duel Academy once I graduated high school. I'll, maybe if you guys want to hear about that, I'll tell you about that. But 2006, oh my god, 2005, 2006. When I was in Duel Academy, I was facing the most powerful duelists at the time, and getting extremely competitive going to the tournaments because i found out about locals and stuff like that yeah chaos chaos was a time my boy love chaos and then out of nowhere yo boy, Riza! i hated riza and loved riza at the same time treeborn frog amazing again all these decks i played through lived through commanded fought against rivals loved them hated them love to see them immortalized in the stars I think that that's cool to see them as bodies. And come on now. Come on now. Come on now. I put this particular shirt on just for this stream, just so that I have a little something to match with your boy. Come on, 2008. Y'all know where I'm at in 2008. I am in the land of the gladiator beast. Your boy is in is at that Coliseum cage, my boy. We get in Gladiator Beast 2008, immortalized in the stars. And I have been keeping the legacy of the gladiator beast alive since 2008. Since 2008, I've been keeping gladiator beast alive, my boy. And now I got the most powerful combo for gladiator beast in the game. Getting meme to oblivion? Check me out, my boy. Gladiator Beast. Never gonna stop, man. 2008, still rising up. Come on. Black Wing. Now, see, this is when I started to get out of the game. This is when I started to become Omega Adult. <laughs> and I started to get super adult. And I got out of the game. And I got super serious about my career. And this is where... I started to kind of have a casual, vague, passerby understanding of what was going on in Yu-Gi-Oh! But now, in 2022 and 2023, 2024, after learning, relearning the game, writing this book, I've experienced these 2010s, 2009s, 2011s. I've experienced all these metas in real time in master duel but also in duel links because i had to stop you on 2012 because they got the insectors my boy the insectors is crazy y'all know the insectors had their own meta for at, at a time i didn't rock the insectors but i did play the insectors in duel links i even made a whole duel links movie <laughs> featuring the insectors so this is pretty dope man i love it i love it i love it so then you got the uh, the dragons, Infernity, wrote about those a little bit. Constellars, Blue Eyes in 2016. So, I mean, didn't they? I thought they won Worlds or something. I don't, I don't particularly remember that. I think these might be all Worlds winning decks because it says 2017 and they show Duel. Oh, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. 2017, Duel Links. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, and then they got the silent. Hold on a second. We got to go back. Yeah, it said 2017. It shows Toon Kingdom. Because at first I was thinking, ain't no way nobody was playing tunes in, in TCG. But um, then they show us the silent magicians. And, of course, everybody who played Duel Links knows about the silent thickness. So nothing needs to be said about that. <laughs> you can see it on screen. 
uh, Salaman Great, and Six Samurai in 2019. I, I don't remember the Six Samurai thing, but maybe that's something I missed out on. And then this is 2023 Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links and Master Duel. It shows Tier Limit, Bora Lead, and I forget who this is. Um, some sort of other crazy dragon. But I don't, yeah, I don't, I think he's some sort of Xyz monster, but I don't remember this anytime. This probably was when I was, oh, 2023. I wasn't playing Duel Links. Makes sense. But Tier Limit and Bora Lead definitely know those guys. Definitely have faced those beasts. And we've all come together for the United States 2024 Seattle tournament, which I am disgusted a little bit because I used to live in Seattle <laughs> and I was ready for that at the time. We got hit with all those uh doom viruses over the last few years and it just wasn't um it wasn't wasn't good. So Things got rescheduled, and, and I even moved. So it's kind of ironic that it's there, and I'm missing out on that. But, you know, hey, we'll play the next one, whatever that is, in 2025, my boy. Whatever that one is. And then this is then it's showing the schedule for the, uh, for the uh, I guess it's the schedule for the, for the games that day. So, you know, it should be pretty dope. And then also, I think the KC Cup is. All right. But yeah, that's all I wanted to share, my boy. I thought it was a pretty dope video. I'm going to be getting back to making content for Cyber Dragon Week. I hope you guys tune in for that, and I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, keep it dank.